What's up, YouTube Nation? I'm the Coffee Bean Jim, and this is number seven for the RPG A Day Challenge. And the question is, uh, you know, what session or RPG session have I had that was the most impactful? Um, so, I've thought about this, and I can't choose any one session that I've had that was made an impact on me. Um, I've had a lot of games that were really fun. I've had a lot of games that had wow moments that was cool and stuff like that. But I can't pick out a game that has something that was a really like a mind blowing experience or that was um, emotional or something of that sort. I mean, I've had a lot of fun games. I've had some emotional parts in games and stuff. But I don't have any that immediately come to mind, even thinking about it in the past couple hours, that really stand out. So. With this question, I kind of skewed a little bit. I started thinking about, you know, what RPGs in general mean to me and how that has impacted my life and kind of going down through and wondering if, you know, there's any games that kind of fit into that or whatever. And while I don't think this necessarily answers the question in the specifics, I think it still follows through with the idea. And I'd have to say that the most impactful game on a more emotional level um, for me personally was the very first game I ran with my brother, Kane. Um, you know, growing up, we were pretty separate. He's a little over seven years older than I am. So, you know, by the time I was six or seven and playing with toys and stuff, you know, he was getting into his teenage years and was hanging out with friends and things like that and playing sports down at the park or going to the creek and ponds, which I wasn't allowed to do because I was too young. And by the time I started to hit that age of that, you know, six, when I was in sixth grade, he was a senior, um, you know, and then seventh, then he ended up moving out of state for a while um when he did move back home you know he had jobs he had responsibilities and the two of us just never really clicked growing up um i mean we got along here and there um, i remember playing a lot of sega genesis with him um, madden football actually and but in general we never really hung out we never really got along that much it wasn't until about man I, it's hard to say maybe seven eight years ago give or take that we really started to click started to hang out together again and you know because we were at that age where we both had similar interests I you know I had a family he now has a family and things just started to kind of work out a little bit um, so during high school I gained with my gamer friends um, graduation we all kind of split up I really didn't play much through the college years um, through most of my 20s I didn't play um, I think I actually stopped playing right around the time that 3.5 D&D came out. Um, I missed the whole release of Pathfinder and stuff. I was all of a sudden just there one day. I didn't even realize anything about that. I uh, never even touched or read anything about 4th edition D&D. Um, but that whole time frame, it was a good 10 years or so, really didn't have anything. Um, I did not get back into role-playing until about three years ago. I had a friend who was I got talking about it. We were playing Magic the Gathering that kind of got into our role-playing games, and we started to look into that a little bit. Um, you know, I mentioned that I used to run a lot of games. We got us D&D books. The, um, actually, at the time, I got Pathfinder, because that was the one that was out. Fifth edition wasn't out yet. Started that up, and we played a little bit. But, you know, that first game, you know, I was able to swing over to my brothers one day, and I was asking him, you know, something he'd be interested in. You know, he was totally down for it. You know, it was really cool to kind of see that excitement that, you know, he wanted to do something like this with me. And you know, after that first game, I can still remember, we had the, you know, I had it set up so that they were in this town, and it was just getting overrun by things that called screechlings. They were like these spider, um, alien xenomorph hybrid creature things, and the town itself was getting overrun with these things, just hundreds of them coming off the hills and stuff, coming up and burning up through the ground. And he played this really stubborn, bullheaded dwarf, which, you know, fits his character perfect. And, you know, he was all about just jumping down one of these holes, wormholes or whatever in the ground and just climbing down there and attacking this thing, you know, the swarm of these things head on. And, it, you know, it created for this awesome scene because both he was learning the mechanics and didn't really realize he could do it that way. He wanted to play it more like uh, the way he described it was God of War, you know, the video game where you just go in and you're just swinging and slaughtering enemies after enemies after enemies. And I was like, you know, this he was a level one dwarf fighter I think it was so it really didn't work that way when he was up against hundreds of these things and it was more of a strategy thing 
But I remember all of us sitting around the table, you know, our jaws just kind of dropping as he's describing how he's getting ready to climb down this hole on a rope and wrapping the rope around himself as he's swinging his axe back and forth. And, you know, it's this really cool thing. And, you know, at that moment, I kind of realized, you know, that once again, I was able to hang out with my brother, do stuff with him again. You know, we had a bit of a common interest. And ever since then, we've actually, you know, done a lot together. We're getting ready to do a hiking trip this weekend. I went boating, kayaking with him, and fishing. Um, you know, we both have lives. It's both busy. But, you know, after not really having much in common or really doing anything with him for a good 20, 22, 23 years, besides just, hey, and, you know, just being around each other, kind of, it was cool to finally have that bonding, to finally hang out once again and have an interest together. So, while this doesn't necessarily an impactful game-specific situation in life and RPG in general, being able for that to bring us back together was, you know, awesome. That was a great thing. So, that's my story for the day. You guys, have a great one. Keep rolling those D20s.